What's good everybody, welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben, I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach, and today we are taking a look at the all new Rotogrip RST X3. Here's some numbers on me, here's some numbers on the ball, and here's how we laid it out. The RST X3 from Rotogrip is the second release in the HP4 line featuring this Rotostar core, interestingly wrapped by the Microtrax hybrid cover stock that was also on the X1, this time featuring the 4K fast finish. This decision to use what is labeled as the same cover as the original release was a curious one, but based on the motion, I think that this is a good lesson in the terminology of hybrid. Rotogrip does say in their product description that this version of the Microtrax hybrid cover stock features two parts pearl, which leads me to believe that the version on the X1 didn't, and that paired with the 4K fast finish creates a significantly different shape on the lane. But regardless of how they got there, the design intention is definitely to have a shape that was between the previous two releases within the RST line. A little more down lane pop than the X1 and a little more mid lane traction than the X2. However, on the lanes, that's not exactly what my eye saw. This X3 is very, very clean. On this fresh house shot, I literally had to stop throwing it after the first 10 shots and mix in the shots for our Hellcat review just to create some transition. The amount of speed sensitivity was higher than any release from a Storm Products ball that I've thrown in a long time, as the slow shots would go high flush and the fast ones would fly well past the head pin. This was really surprising for me as the X2 was a ball that I could actually throw on fresh pretty often as it would give me a controllable but trustworthy shape down lane. But once some more friction in the mid lane was created, the X3 showed its true colors. Similar to the Nova and the Reality Check, once these hybrid ASIMs from Storm have the right amount of friction to use on the way to the pins, they strike so easily and convincingly. Rarely do I find myself thinking about what to do with my hand to create the right shape with these pieces, rather a focus on execution and accuracy while letting the natural characteristics of the ball shine seems to almost always work best. The X3 fits this mold exceptionally well. When it's right, you'll know just by the sound it makes going through the pins. It's got those cliche features you hear in every ball review in that it is clean through the fronts, strong in the mid lane, and continues through pins well. Bowlers of many different styles will appreciate what the X3 can add to their arsenal. Speed dominant strokers will appreciate being able to stay further outside and maintain an aggressive move to the pocket. Balanced tweeners will be able to play in the track with this piece and control the developing friction without experiencing much over under as they have to move inside. And rev dominant crankers will love having a bigger ball that they can go to once the lanes break down and they have to move in and still want to throw a piece that they can trust to carry the corners. Looking at the entire Storm products line, I will say that I think the X3 is the best hybrid ASIM option for lower speed players, whereas the Reality Check is the best for high speed players, both regardless of rev rate. Sport bowlers will appreciate the X3 on high friction lane surfaces or low volume oil patterns. If you bowl on HPLs with challenge or sport conditions on them, you will likely go to the X3 to get through the early friction easier and save some energy for the end of the pattern especially when you need to get out of the solid option that you started the day with. So even though the X3 looks just like the old Hypercell, its addition to the Storm products line looks like the last puzzle piece to give bowlers a complete and fulfilling set of hybrid asymmetrical options at the highest levels of performance. And you can pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. I do want to throw a big shout out to the guys at Striking Edge Pro Shop for the layout and drilling of this piece, as well as to everyone at Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. Before you go, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And of course, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hand, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.